the more you imperil human civilization. And I think that's species. We count every other species bar our own. And we are a lot more biodiverse than it currently is. Exactly, it makes us happy, doesn't it? How does it make you um, You could put, like... A uh, fifteen-year-old and a five-year-old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> throughout October and I would urge you to check her website and welcome for Billy and Grace. Creates an inequality of opportunity. Richard Fenwell summed it up really perfectly, saying that access to nature... ...a snowflake, and I think I'm very happy to be one. And then she and my little wee sweet girl. We'll never spray again, cry. Mr. Dave Gawson, who's my Minister of Pe I've been doing it so long, I'm, I'm a little worried I'm starting to look like a bee. <laughs> Your money to kill that animal in that way, yet there are hundreds of people. Said, what a the color. Will my generation reclaim all that has been taken from us? Do not give any opportunities that they deserve to do so. When will we have one last verse to the flowers? Let's see you sing now. Where will the flowers go? In drenching a bit of our capital in bird song. The stragglers are still straggling. There's a lot of straggling going on this afternoon. Striggle, straggle. We're not looking after them. We're making a shockingly bad job. Um, we can see the impact it's having. You know. So the main land uses in the uplands of Britain. Swifts, house sparrows, you name it. All these species which are declining. We have to offer something in return. And the world will be slightly less crap than it would otherwise have been. The otters and the kingfishers and the other magnificent creatures bring back pesticides. That's what Mark Cowardine's been talking about with his scallop. Thank you very much.